Hello everybody! So this is a special little video because of an error that I seem to have made uh, in regards to a tactical space ability on tactical captains. Of course I am not perfect and I do make mistakes. And uh, this relates to the go down fighting power on tactical captains in space. Um, if you look at the option, well first of all, what I stated in my videos de uh, dealing with the Jim Hadar spaceship, um, uh, the Jim Hadar attack ship, I stated that the uh, go down fighting reduces your whole strength or your whole health in order to give you um, more damage. It's basically all in how you read it. Um, this is the icon right here, that little go down, that little uh, arrow pointing down. I'm going to hover over it and you can read for yourself what it says and I will read it out loud. Go down fighting three. Scaled damage buff. Lower hull health equals more damage. Plus 24.9% all damage for, 50, for 60 seconds. So it's basically all in how you read that. I probably mistakenly read that as it lowers your whole health and in doing so gives you more damage. But if you read it a different way, you could read it as when you have lower whole health, then you get more damage, i.e. Uh, you're being attacked and your whole health is lowering, so the lower your whole health is, then it adds a buff automatically and gives you plus 24.9% all damage. That's probably what really happens with that power. And it's a little confusing when you read it. I think they could have maybe perhaps um, gave us some better wording on that power because you, c you could read it both ways. And I read it the wrong way, but at the time it seemed logical. It seemed... Um, you know, it gives you a lower whole health and then you get more damage, but that's not the case. I think that as your whole health lowers, then it gives you more damage. So it's all in how you translate it. And uh, so that basically is it right there. You can read it for yourself and uh, judge what it means. But um, there you go. I hope that clears up uh, go down fighting. There are other tactical powers that I really do love. For example, um, attack pattern alpha. This one is a, uh, basically you enable it and you get an instant <coughs> damage crit and turn buff. As you can see here, <coughs> excuse me, this is a, a great power to enable. I also um, have attack pattern beta and attack pattern delta, but really on a tactical uh, character, especially with a, an, an escort ship, the power you really want to have is attack pattern Omega. Uh, Omega will basically get you out of tractor beams and uh, things like that and uh, it also gives you a turn buff and, uh, and a speed buff I think. Um, it is a, a better power than either of these two. It just so happens that right now on this character um, when I switched over to the Jim Hadar Escort these were just the powers I had and they were they're not the best. Um, obviously there are many, 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 many ways you can set up a tactical character in an escort. And I know that's a very, very popular thing in the game. So I just wanted to address go down fighting because I think I probably got that one a little wrong. Um, and then you always want to use attack pattern alpha as a tactical officer. And then if you can get attack pattern omega instead of delta or beta, um, those, that's more useful. So uh, that was just some of the issues addressed on the tactical character. Um, obviously there's so many ways that you can build a tactical character in an escort. And again, the Jim Hadar ship, um, you know, probably so many different ways you could uh, mix that up as well. So um, lots of different options and ways you can do things. This was just one way to show you the ship in action. and. Um, so that's basically what I got there. I just wanted to clear that up and hope that uh, you guys continue to have fun in the game and um, just keep with it. I've got, out of all my characters, I've got a tactical, an engineer, and a science as my three main characters on Federation. And uh, be 
with with that I change ships a lot and because of that I have to reskill and do a bunch of stuff so I'm not necessarily always at my optimal when I'm showing you these ships because basically I've just put the new ship on um, set up my bridge officers and my powers and stuff like that and uh, sometimes I don't even reskill because it wastes a whole reskill point and all that until I figure out what ship I actually want to go with on that character in the long term and then I'll reskill and do all that stuff so there's a lot that goes into setting up a character and it's a fun part of the game for me doing that but I don't necessarily have the absolute best build for each ship when I show you guys it's it's good but I'm sure it could be better but uh, at least you guys can see the thing in action and uh, actually I, out of all my characters I have the most work done on my science character because he's my main character and I spend the most time with him and uh, I have really really science is the hardest uh, absolute hardest in this game to skill for um, there's just so many different things you can do so many different ways you can do it but anyway um, that's just a uh, general uh, general talking there about uh, some of the uh, other characters uh, one of the characters uh, you haven't seen yet but you're going to see in a future video when I show the new uh, 1000 day ship is my engineering character and he is also pretty well equipped I would say maybe possibly I don't know although it's been a while since I've used him for a lot of stuff but anyway my tactical character, I honestly I don't play as a tactical very much. I really have the most experience as a science officer. But I like, uh, I have Ensign Ricky of course is, is engineering and um, I did I did level uh, as I mentioned a tactical character um, outside of videos just doing it for fun uh, just to see what it is like and just to see how fast I could level him now in the game and I you know leveled him in three days um, pretty much playing the game casually <laughs> for three days and leveled him and uh, that was on a tactical character so um, I do have a little bit more experience now than I did before um, I've never been a huge tactical player in the game uh, mostly been engineering or science um, so some of my tactical powers I'm I, I don't know as well as my engineering or science powers but uh, hopefully that'll clear it up and I'll make sure in the future to read it better and to show you what it says so that you can judge for yourself what exactly that power means so I hope that clears that up um, as always enjoy playing Stowe I hope you guys have a lot of fun um, season seven's coming woohoo we'll see how that goes <laughs> so um, enjoy everybody have a good time